what I've found, this is quite a nice fit, this little piece. And that's the end cut off with a 20mm or 25mm joiner. Looks like 25. Um, and that's got the ridge in the centre that the two pipes come in and hit. So what I'm going to do is buy myself a complete one of those. And using my little wire brush head, grind out the centre ridge. So it can slip completely on there. And then that goes over the top. And I can put a couple little set in screws because well, that's nice and thick wall so the screw can be even if it sticks through I just stick the dremel down the inside and grind it off so nothing's hitting the dart as it comes out so that's it for all for now guys right guys moving on now I've been putting this off for days this major filling under here I'm going to do it today but one issue I have to deal with is these screws now Unfortunately, I couldn't get any with smaller heads and I've um, countersunk the plastic as much as I can and still have the screw there. So what I'm going to do, I've got little bits of plastic, another pipe, I'm just going to cut pieces that are the right length and put them over. I have to uh, dremel out the inside of them, as you can see there, so it fits over. And just a little bit of the... A little bit of tape and a little bit of the um, normal blue pipe glue will hold it in place. So I've got, what, four each side of them to do. So I'll get them done, then we'll get back to you. Bye. Right, guys, I'm back. Now, slight change of plans. On inspecting the underside of this, I found that this side was much easier to do the putty. So that's what I did. There's not a lot of big gaps and the builder's box is a bit messy. So... I forced it into shape as best I can, even sculpted that little bit to match this curve at the top, and that'll take a lot of sanding and finishing off to get it up to where I want it, but uh, a couple of places I w mixed up a bit too much and started to go off before I get it in, so I've got to do it all again. Now, on the other side, there's a few huge holes, which I thought the builder's bog would do, but um, like that one there. But on the other side I discovered that uh, even the putty was just falling through the hole. So what I've done, and I'm going to show you on this bit, is I've put some of my um, mixed up acetone and Nerf off cuts. This is my little jar here. Right, now as I was saying before the battery died, if you can see down there, you see there's a green lump in the middle of the yellow. Now the yellow was the original stuff I put in there. The green is just recent and that's still soft and workable. The yellow is a bit harder. So, what you do, you get a little lump of green out, probably in this case green yellow. There's a bit of liquid in there too. I have added some um, acetone just to soften things up. And provided you can see this, I wonder how I like that. Aha. I'm still learning how to use this camera. My son gave it to me for Father's Day just a few days ago. Okay. So what I'll try and do is keep that in shot while I fill that hole there, as you can see. And it can't focus because it's too close in. There we go. So, just putting it in. Um, the good thing is it doesn't seem to stack, want to stick to the um, orange plastic pipe, which is quite useful. And that screw's come out. So I've got to put that back in. Just got to make sure I get it in the hole. Oh, there we go. Now the screws in both end, in both ends. Of... Right. Now the screws in both ends of this. I don't think you can see it. Oh, just barely. I've countersunk the hole. Plus I've also ground the top off the screw. So if you look across it, it actually you can't be seen. So that'll just get filled with a bit more of the putty. So see, this doesn't have to be neat. Just needs to fill the hole so I get when I go over the putty. One, I'm not using too much putty, and two, it, it just made basically a smoothing coat. What I might do is actually put some down in this crevice here, too, because there's a lot of space. And also, you might notice the little notch in the pipe that I've cut in it just there because there's a screw hole under there that holds these two bits together, so I have to have access to it. So, because I want to be able to, you know, pull this gun apart and put the in internals in. 
There's my little tool. There we go. Yeah, doing this with the builder's bog, which is even more fluid and loose than this stuff, would probably be an absolute pain, and I'll probably make a mess. But this way, I'm actually filling up the major holes with something cheap and nasty that actually works. Another idea I've had is, before you, I put it in, what I should have done is painted the inside of the um, cavity with a little bit of acetone. That'll melt the plastic slightly. That's acetone and plastic, so they'll bond a bit better, I'd reckon. But, um, in fact, what we'll do, we'll do that now. Just put a little bit on the screwdriver. And in there. There we go, that should do. Obviously, you should, you know, do a proper test with a scrap piece and a, some of the goo stuck on without the acetone and some of the goo stuck on with the acetone. And I probably will do that eventually and uh, we'll see what happens. But this is quite good. It's just, it's getting very easy to get off the screwdriver and it doesn't really seem to want to stick to the orange plastic. So I'm pretty happy with that. I would say with a lot of care and attention and working in very small areas of time, you could probably use this stuff to actually build an actual surface, which would be pretty cool. So what I've got to do is let all that dry and then I'll come back with the putty and do the little gaps, a few areas. And uh, oh, here's where I've done the, um, it's just, I just put two pieces of white plastic pipe glued to that orange pipe and uh, that'll just get bogged in with a little bit of, um, the uh, epoxy putty just to fill in the gaps and fill in the odd hole and cover up this and so the major reason I've done all that work around here is just to make so your thumb hole can get in here and your thumb can get through and you're not going to hit anything I've even ground out some of the pipe there so just a matter of ergonomics really to get it all good so that's basically it just before I go I'll just quickly while I remember, show you the rest of what else I've been doing. Let me just zoom out a bit. Or a lot, that's about it, okay. So, got the front grip on, got that on. I'll tighten that and put a screw through just to hold in place when I've got to find a couple of place. Got the uh, muzzle on. That was just a case of getting, as I said, a piece of 20 mil joiner. And that's inside there, up to here. And I've just cut out the slots. You see, still it's got a bit of fibre in there. I've got to get in and clean it out. So you still get the effect of the, the, the muzzle flash hider or whatever you want to call it. Now the other thing I'm looking at doing is making covers for this area simply because it is very identifiable. Now I've started making, this is what I call a, um, <coughs> oh, what, a mock. That's right. It's just to get rough idea of what I need to do, where I need to cut. And you can see I've cut it to fit around the things. Um, on the last one, I actually had screw through it using the existing screw holes, and I'll probably do that again. But as you can see, down the bottom here, I'm assuming you can see that, there's a big gap, so it needs to extend. So what I'll do with that, I've roughly got these shapes where I want them. So what I've done is put it on one of these, on another piece, just press it down over it, line up the top edge. And so I've marked where I need to cut there, I've marked here, but I've got all this extra that I can use. What I've found is, as you're cutting and fitting, you work in one area at a time, and if you find it doesn't go, it doesn't fit in, you move down to the next area and you cut a little bit out, a little bit out. See, if I cut a chunk out of here, for this to go in here, I then have to cut a chunk out of here. And it, I could probably get that done, and that would get that closer to the barrel, but my intent is to have, um, you know, air holes drilled in, in that. So, you know, a little more detail so you can see the barrel, you know, a little bit of depth to make things more interesting. So I'm gonna leave it probably about there, and I, I have to modify this so it comes down a bit further. I could probably cut it to fit along that slot and then down in there, and then just a screw down the bottom, a screw up the top, and I'm actually going to get um, some end caps that fits this size pipe, and cut out the flat and glue it inside there, and then I'll have to cut it to fit, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So, that's where we're at now. 
powering on so I'm going to actually leave that goo to dry for at least 24 hours simply because I've got so many other things to do around here and uh, I will get back to you later. Bye now.